guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So today, we're going to go ahead and hop into an extreme Super Battle Road stage with AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta's EZA, right? Um, now, both Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and Super Saiyan 4 Goku are ridiculous. I mean, the, dude, the global, like, like sort of like title for Vegeta, it would be this, like, right, right there. His global title is Unparalleled Super Saiyan. I mean, yeah, the two Super Saiyan 4 EZAs, Unparalleled. I guess it's not true because I think Int UI Goku, maybe they're slightly better than Int UI Goku. Maybe Int UI Goku is like right there with them. So I don't really know how to say Unparalleled, but like I, I am very impressed with how these Super Saiyan 4 EZAs have gone. Now, remember, Goku is from the Baby Saga, but Vegeta is from the Shadow Dragon Saga. So we can now use this Vegeta in this stage. Global just got this stage. I mean, dude, since I originally no itemed this stage, we now have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. We have Physical uh, Nova, who is really good for this stage. And then, of course, we have the new AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta EZA. So, we are, needless to say, we are going to shit on this stage. We are going to disintegrate it, destroy it, obliterate it, whatever you want to say. This stage is just getting cream pie. Um, okay, so, I mean, this is a pretty good rotation right here. I guess I'm just gonna go for this guy right here. We'll just go ahead and slap him up. Um, I don't think we're gonna take enough damage for us really to be in any danger or any fear or anything like that. I mean, with Omega sort of lowering all the enemy's attack and then how strong the rest of these units are, we, we should be good. Um, all right, so in this next rotation, uh, we do want to keep in mind that, uh, Nova is going to be on rotation with Vegeta, and Nova does give uh, uh, Shadow Dragon Saga category super class allies 40% defense, right? But, I mean, if you're a global player, and for whatever reason, you know, maybe you don't have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, maybe you don't have uh, the Int uh, um, uh, Oceana Shenron, you don't have Physical Omega Shenron, right? So you don't have any of these sort of, like, summonable options to lead the Shadow Dragon Saga team. Like, if you've got AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and, like, some of these other really good characters, you still should be good, um, you know, being able to, to take this stage down. Because um, you could use the uh, Int Universal Spirit Bomb Goku, right? He's a free-to-play Shadow Dragon Saga leader. So, all right, with Nova, we have GT, Shocking Speed, and Fierce Battle, and then that's the same amount we would have... Oh, no, we also have Super Saiyan with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, right? All right, so 169k defense, pretty good. Keep in mind that Vegeta does get 50% defense on Super Attack. Ideally, I would put Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in slot 1. But, I mean, this is the Vegeta showcase. So, so we sort of want to see what he's capable of doing here. Um, and I guess we'll just go for... Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll just go left or right. We'll just sort of, like, take them down left or right. I think that will be fine. Um, yeah, that's totally good. All right, so let's see how Vegeta does. Remember that Vegeta can Super Attack counter... Oh, ha, <laughs> ha, He's basically right around double-digit damage level. So he's taking double digits right there. And then he gets 50% defense on super attack, right? Oh! Okay, if he double supers, his defense is like god level. Oh, did he? I think he countered. I think it's a counter. Well, no, okay, okay. yeah, I gotta remember that. Yeah, okay, that, he took, Vegeta took literally like 80k. <laughs> but I have to remember, okay. Um, that Shadow Dragon, when he super attacks, it's weird. It, 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 it looks as though your Super Saiyan 4 counters when that guy... I, I remember that from when I was, uh, do, like, doing the no-item attempts. This was back in September, was that? Or, I think? Man, it's been a long time. Global, they really waited way too long to put this stage out on Global, by the way. They gotta... I, that's why I'm actually secretly kind of happy that JP did not get... Uh, Super Battle Road stages during this celebration so that hopefully like next worldwide celebration they could just all come out in Global and JP at the same time. I think that'd be uh, optimal amount of fun for the whole community if it works that way, right? Oh, what is this? We're gonna be able to activate Gogeta's... Okay, sure. You know what? <laughs> I think we will! <laughs> Alright, well, now Gogeta... Um, his active skill is a little bit ridiculous once you start talking about Super Battle Road. Does Gogeta, does he debuff the enemy? I, cause I know he buffs himself, but does he also debuff the enemy or is that only, uh, no, he does. Yeah. 40% attack and defense and all enemies minus 40% attack and defense. That's godly. 
Like for Super Battle Road stage, any Super Battle Road stage that this Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta can participate in, he is just a god, right? So like Fusion has already got Extreme Super Battle Road stage, so does Shadow Dragon Saga. Kamehameha doesn't even have a normal category stage yet, huh? That that the next like 10 category stages, Kamehameha will definitely be in there. Uh Final Trump card does have one. Um so yeah, Gogeta would destroy Final Trump card Super Battle Road. And when that gets an extreme stage, he'll be important. Uh, then the other stages he's on is Giant Ape Power and GT Heroes. Uh, I don't know if either of those would get categories through Battle Road stages anytime soon, but I guess we would see. Um, all right, so here, let's see. No type disadvantage for Vegeta or anything like that. So we could get six out of seven. We'd have everything uh, active except for Saiyan Pride. I think I'm going to do this right here. I think this is what we're going to do. Um, we'll leave Vegeta with LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. By the way, the, the LR Super Saiyan 4s are still really good, but <laughs> they're not as good as the EZA. The EZA units are, are outright better than both the LR Super Saiyan 4s. I mean, it's just, that's just how, how, like, power creep has sort of moved along. Summonable LRs from 2019 are being outright outclassed by these EZA TURs now. It's just the way it is, right? Um... We could probably almost completely get rid of Nova Shenron very, very fast here. So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's just aim all of our attacks on Nova. And Nova's probably almost going to die. All right, 156k. Again, we don't have... Uh, what is that? That's um, Saiyan Pride. And then we also don't have Shocking Speed active. Saiyan Pride only gives attack. Uh, but Shocking Speed, member does give 5% defense at level 10. So there is a little bit of defense we're leaving on the, the table here by not putting Vegeta in the middle slot. But again, I, I want to show... Dude, 5.2? He doesn't... There's no support! There is no support on rotation! That's just his raw attack, dude. <laughs> He's just shooting out raw 5 million attack stats. Hello! <laughs> Again, like, you know, we could put physical Kid Buu on rotation and Bardock and Gine in the rotation before and every unit can hit 5 million. But Vegeta is just raw shooting out 5 million attacks. That's turn one. It's turn one! Hello? <laughs> oh my god, they're both so good. <laughs> they are strong as hell, dude. It's ve They're very impressive. Um... Okay. I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna use an item here just because I, I just don't want to die. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure, like, I, we could just casually no item run this. Like, this... this <laughs> yeah, like, considering I no item... Oh, yep, yep. Sorry, buddy. But considering I no item run this before, like, Gogeta and all the... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Bitch! Goodbye, Nova. Um, yeah, this is... <laughs> to say this is a casual no item. It's just... This guy himself is too good. STR Omega is still good. Like, STR Omega Shenron, man, he's going to be really solid on that GT boss's team. The only thing is that full power doesn't have any other GT bosses on it, does it? Is it just only Omega that's on full power from GT bosses? I think so. Unfortunately, like, Baby, Super 17, these characters don't... And, like, Rildo, only Omega Shenron is a GT boss on full power, so... I guess that could limit STR Omega Shenron a bit. Like, he'll still be good. But, like, you know, he's not going to be supporting really any of the other GT bosses units that'll be on that team. Um, was this attack debuffed by any chance? He's sealed. But no, his attack was not debuffed. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. See, another reason, by the way, that the LRs... Like, the LRs are just not any... I don't think they're, like, even close to the TURs. Because... You still do have to get to, like, 18 key for the LRs, which, I mean, they do have good key mechanics with the rainbow orbs and the same type orbs. But, like, look at this situation. We're not even going to get close to an 18 key super attack for Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Like, we're not even close. Um, and then, like, like Vegeta is just, like, very casual. Like, he's super attacking. And then shooting out 5.4 million, right? So, it's, like, it's just, it's just insanity how strong these guys are. Oh, yep, double super. Goodbye. Now, Vegeta, again, has another advantage. Vegeta, okay, Goku, I think, is definitely better than Vegeta. But there are a number of advantages that Vegeta has, which Goku does not. One of them right now is being on the Shadow Dragon Saga does matter a lot in terms of making the unit a little bit stronger. Because 
as far as equipment goes. The gold slot and the silver slot equipment I have on my Vegeta, it's the Shadow Dragon Saga exclusive equips you can get from that story event, right? So, like, it's just much easier to fill Vegeta up with equips. Like, my Super Saiyan 4 Goku, outside of giving him a good bronze equip, I don't have anything to give him because Dokkan has released 70 consecutive good STR units, right? Every five seconds, like, oh, time for another premium STR unit. So it's like, I don't have anything for Goku. But, like, you know, Vegeta's on the Shadow Dragon Saga, like, stage. And, like, you could do that stage, like, every single day, right? You could even use keys to do that stage even when it's not around. So it's very easy to have solid gold and silver equips for J Shadow Dragon Saga characters. Like, even, like, my Nova. Like, I should put some equips on him. My, does, Oceanus? She's got some stuff. Um, but, like, you know, Shadow Dragon Saga characters. Um, uh, Refs of Universe 7 characters has one of those stages. Universe 6. That's where the equip system starts to not be that big of a deal, by the way. I'm just going to use an item just to ensure that we don't have any funny business happen here. Um, but again, that, that's where sort of that system ends up working really good. The equipment system is when they release these stages, right? That allows you to farm up equips for that specific category, right? Um, like, they really have got to give us one for GT bosses. We need one for GT bosses like ASAP, this pronto, this second, right? Because that category, bitch, is so small that we just need extra help, right? In terms of equips and stuff like that. Um, honestly, I'm still pretty surprised that they gave reps of Universe 7 uh, exclusive equips. I mean, it makes sense since that's a big, you know, the whole anniversary thing. But still, it's pretty ridiculous, right? That, um... By, okay, by the way, um... Super Saiyan 4, Goku, and Vegeta are crazy. Would I say... Su I feel like Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta is better than them. Right? So, like, if I had the sort of... Like, if I was sort of, like, I guess, like, scaling it, I probably would say I like Dokkan Fest, Goku, and Vegeta at the top. Then in Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta. Then I probably would put the two EZA Super Saiyan 4s. Um, I, I think in Gogeta... He performs a bit better than them, I think, right? Um, so, I guess I, I do think then that the highest tier of Dokkan Fest exclusive TURs recently are better than a lot of these EZ units. Because, again, just, just from the performance I'm seeing, uh, I, that Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, he's still so crazy, right? Like, the super attack counters, all those abilities he's got is pretty nuts. All right, again, I'm going to leave Vegeta in slot one. <laughs> 184K, huh? Again, we could get a little bit better if I was in the middle slot. 192K. Remember, he gets 50% defense on super. So, like, you know, really, like, the ideal way to run this would be running, like, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in slot one, and then, like, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta next to him. And then second rotation, like a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta slot one, and then probably like STR Omega. That's probably like the ideal way to run this, honestly. Um, the Shadow Dragon Saga team. I mean, this is just ridiculous. It's just it, ridiculous how good I think these EZAs are. And like the GT Hero team, have they gotten enough buffs? Like, oh my God, like let's just release 500 God level units. Uh, like, right away, right away, right away, right away on this team. It's just very nuts. Um, all right, I, I think this is good. Like, we Vegeta was just completely, like, just packing away this Shadow Dragon stage, right? Just dead. Destroying, incinerated. Very impressive performance, honestly. Like, look at that, dude. See, Vegeta outdamaged Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I mean, deeper into an event as Goku... Well, I don't... Yeah, okay, so Goku would build up attack as the event would continue going on. Um, wait, no, 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 Goku. Okay, well, we're gonna get a counter with Goku. No, no, I I'm getting confused. Vegeta builds up his attack as the event goes on. Goku builds up defense as the event goes on. So, yeah, Vegeta just is just flat out stronger than the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Because remember, Vegeta, you know, in a Super Battle Road stage, we're not really gonna get a great... I think Vegeta probably would end up being slightly better in Extreme Super Battle Road. I'm gonna... Probably. Because Goku... You know, once Goku gets a few supers in, that's where his defense just completely outclasses Vegeta's. But again, Goku has to get a couple of super attacks in, right? Whereas Vegeta, it's just sort of like he's got it, right? And then he's, you know, building up his attack for six turns, whereas Goku's building up that defense for six turns. So I think Vegeta probably is a bit better in Extreme Super Battle Road. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I mean, he was dominating. I mean, 
<laughs> what else do you want me to say? He, he's absolutely just dominating. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Catch y'all next time.